in the landscape of figure photography, one group strived for tangible and dynamic displays. Yeah, we're live, Bug. Oh, we are live. Yes, sir. <laughs> we're officially back, back at it. it. It's a rare condition this day and age to read any good news on the newspaper page. And love and tradition of the grand design, some people say it's even harder to find. Inside these gentle walls Cause all I see is a tower of dreams Real love bursting out of every scene Days go by It's the bigger love of the family The Articulated Comic Book Art Podcast is filmed in front of a live virtual audience and is funded in part by viewers just like you. Thank you. Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. Bogue Nice coming at you with the Articulated Comic Book Art Podcast, episode 312. All right? 13. 311. Oh my god, it's like that one group, huh? How about that one group? Last time it was 311. Come on. I thought it was 311 last week. Yeah, we already yeah, did. Yeah, Poncho, he's dunking. Come on, man. man. You, bro? We already did the investigate 311 thing. We had a whole thing. We did. Yeah. We did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going with 312. Somewhere there's a lost episode. All right. I'm your host, Book Nice. Got my boys with me, Fabster, Pancheesy, Rick Dom. We back. Back Love. in effect. April 12th, 2024. What's going on, boys? What's up? Gentlemen, a tough question to start things out. Oh, yeah, Dude, what's that? Just lay it on me. What's up? Well. Yeah. First of all, I mean, I think we do this a lot. This happens to, to us a lot, but it feels irresponsible to do a podcast today of all days after we lost the juice. Mm. Don't squeeze the juice. Mm -hmm. All right, let's be clear. He murdered those people, didn't he? Oh, yeah. Come on. Yeah, okay. He killed these people. Anybody can have a bad day returning sunglasses. <laughs> Just making sure. Yeah, OJ Simpson, dead, 76 years old. Cancer got him. Barely a kid. You know what? what? Everybody involved with that case died of cancer, huh? Not everybody, but mm. uh, I mean, his lawyer who, in particular, lawyer, Rob, Rob, Rob Kardashian Sr. He, Kardashian, he Cochran, yeah. the juice. Who else is left? There's Robert Shapiro. Mm. He's still Shapiro. around. Shapiro's still around. Wasn't my man uh, Dershowitz involved with OJ in some way, shape, or form? He's, he's still around. Mm -hmm. Alan I, Dershowitz. I was quite a young pup when it was happening. All you right. know, that's the saddest part. He was still on the hunt for the real killer, so I guess we'll never know how that mm. loose end gets tied up. Mm. Yeah, O.J. Simpson dead. I don't know if I'm going to give him a rest in peace, but uh, also Mr. C died, hip-hop legend, person who oh. broke Biggie. Mr. C passed away yesterday, too, or the day before, I believe. Shame. And uh, I think we've been talked about Homeboy from um, – uh, Generation V, right? Yeah, dude, that yeah. sucks. Yeah, that was very tragic. Yeah, the motorcycles, man, it's dangerous, baby. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah. Uh, okay. Well, that's what's going on in pop culture? What's going on? What's going on with you boys? It's yeah. Good. What happened last week? Or oh, this week, rather? This week it would be. Oh my god, I did my taxes. Oh, nice, dude. Not great. Um, I, it's not like I owe a lot of money. Let me not, let me not fucking sit here and act like like I paid Uncle Sam a huge lump of a lump of money. I actually I almost paid him nothing, but I didn't get anything back, and that's mm. never good. Not getting money back is not good. 
All right. Well, you selling all of those uh, vintage items. Yeah, that's exactly what's paying for it, baby. That's Uncle right. Sammy. Um, I I paid less than a hundred dollars back, but still, I was hoping for some money back. But hmm. guess not, because Uncle all Sam right. don't like small business. Did you guys do your taxes? I have a lot of documents to go through because every single <laughs> employer I have is a whole new filing to do. Well, I don't even know why that was funny, but that was hilarious. I don't even know why that was funny. I mean, uh, yeah, I'm right on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> you got like three days, brother. <laughs> How about you, P? Did you tax? Yeah, I did that day one. <laughs> Damn. Did you get money back? Wasted no time. Back? I got a, I got a, I got a crazy amount. I got thirty five dollars. Well, you know what? You know what, Poncho? You are big chilling twenty twenty five. It's true. You are fucking killing it with baby boy Joshi. It's I was true. getting about to say. back some sweet keach. Yeah. Hey. Well, some sweet little some Panchito some or, Panchetta some. or Panchetta, whatever she ends up being. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a boy. <laughs> Where you been at? It's been like established. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I figured that you were gonna wait for them to decide. I don't know. Oh, right, right. <laughs> well, hey, you never know. Okay. You never know. That's true. You never know. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. true. That's true. It would it would Liberal. drive Rebecca's dad crazy, and I honestly mm, pray and hope. Be awesome. <laughs> yeah, you said he's he's kind of MAGA, right? Uh, he's well, mm, I don't want to put labels on it, but he's just a difficult man. But I respect him. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> It's, Every, it's everybody a, uh, it's that generation it's that, it's that generation yeah yeah, yeah. my my, yeah. Uh, my dad's kind of maga a little bit he grew yeah. up in mississippi you know in the yeah. 70s you know that's all you need yeah. to know it's really just <laughs> conservative really really yeah yeah, yeah just conservative yeah. yeah every everybody has a family member that that does it everybody has a family member that tells you like so how about sleepy joe and you're like oh god i don't want to do this <laughs> don't want to do this 100%. See, he fell asleep the other day? Like, yeah, every I night I hear. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> my, dad is not, my dad is not like a Trump fan or nothing like that. But when I say MAGA, again, I just mean like he's conservative and he's not with anything that is, uh -huh. <laughs> that is not progressive or anything. Forward. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Yeah. The type of guy who would be like, huh, Obama, more like, oh, bummer. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, bummer. <laughs> <laughs> he's also like be on like some conspiracy shit and i just be like Dad, i love it shit. damn that's yeah. where you get it huh that's yeah. where you got it the tin hat a little bit oh but my it, god have i told you guys about my new favorite crazy. conspiracy theory what's that i might have told some of y'all i heard okay <laughs> uh, there's no there's no verification here but i heard remember how john cena was at the oscars all like naked mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. apparently it was part of some sort of Illuminati humiliation. Oh, ritual. yep. It's a yeah. humiliation ritual they're claiming. Mm -hmm. Initiate him. Is this a bit that you just found this out or or what? I found this out like last week. Yeah. Oh, no shit. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. People really believe it. <laughs> That's and I'm what not, I heard. And I don't know. I'm just asking questions. That's true. Yeah. Bug, was your dad bugging about the eclipse? My dad was on another planet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My dad's have water. always bugging about like exactly, chemtrails and shit. He's always, oh my God. Bro, he's he always saying that. they're spraying some shit in the air. He's like, conspiracy I mean, classic. Literally, <laughs> every time we go there, if you like sneeze or something happens, he's like, yep, yeah, they're spraying that shit in the air. <laughs> no, no way I would conceal my sneezes around this person. My dad Damn, is a my dad is a big end of the world guy. Um, oh, man. It, it's coming. Just not mm -hmm. the last time. That was a miscalculation. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Derek, he's a big prepper. Uh, mm. Well, I wouldn't. He's a he's a mental prepper. Not a not a. It doesn't manifest. No in though. He's yeah, just, it doesn't. He's just talking. Yeah, just talking. <laughs> yeah, dude. He was. I remember. I vividly remember being a kid, like in Y two K, and my dad like telling me that mm. our neighbors are gonna kill us because we have a bottle of water and they don't. And I was like, what? bro, what is going on? <laughs> and then I was playing my Game Boy, and he's like, you see that Game Boy in your hands? It's going to turn against you at the stroke of midnight because it's a computer. Mm. And I was like, oh, okay. Scare <laughs> monger the kids, man. Come on. It's, what, it's great. Your saves? <laughs> yeah, right. So he was saying it's that, crazy. like, uh, he was saying the world's going to end. And he's like, you know, there's a particle accelerator, son. And 
And I go, I've heard of it. Mm. And he goes, they're going to turn it on. And I go, yeah, yeah, I have heard that that's the, <laughs> that's the, you know the, the calm I, uh, behind the Mandela effect, how people have true. different <laughs> memories of the same event, like mm-hmm. Berenstein versus Berenstain bears. It's part yeah, of the Mandela effect. That, sure. The oh, Mandela yeah. effect began when they turned the particle accelerator on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, stay you know, uh, I don't know if you got, I talk, I mentioned this, but you know, the, the uh, three body problem yeah. on Netflix. Yes. And that, you know, it's dealing with the particle accelerator in some form of fashion. I haven't finished the very first episode yet, oh. but, uh, but yeah. I watched I've been uh, seeing what happens uh, after all of this and the bombs drop and people uh, come out of their vaults to. Let me, let me ask you guys this. <laughs> let me ask you guys this. Would you even want to, like, say it was like a nuclear holocaust or whatever, would you even want to survive that initial blast? Like, what's the point of living after that shit? Like, what type of life are you going to live? Do you want to survive that? You I'd like to check that shit out. Society? I guess. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know about J- Japan. Japan had a couple of them, and they're all right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they got made cafes, brother. I don't yeah. know. That's a, that's a sweet deal. Wow. You know, life is all about having experiences. So, so you'd those, like to experience that? A couple of those experiences back to back are witness nuclear explosion and then live in the fallout afterwards. Yeah, that's mm. that's two pretty cool ones. I might I might go for. I, I wouldn't say I'd like to. I'd like to experience that, but no, if, yeah. I don't really I don't have a choice in the matter if it does happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> but I'd like to. I'd like to open up the door and just uh, just see what's on the other side. You know, maybe. <laughs> Well, you know what you guys have. Uh, all those people building their like toy basements are going to be so set. Mm. I'm, talking, I'm talking like Kyle Peterson's out there, pacing back and forth, Five just people. looking at your collection. Literally, while the world burns. Great. Yeah. yeah, virtually useless. I mean, it's your it's your duty to survive, though, Bo, to propagate the species. But that's what I'm saying. Would you want to be tasked with repopulating Earth and like continuing the human species? Yeah, man, you're trying to fuck Party up in, brother. Rush, Bobby. What's the problem? <laughs> that's a that's a heavy that's a heavy load. <laughs> Literally a heavy load. <laughs> hey, let's go, Rick. Crazy, let's go, Rick. Let's go, Rick. Crazy. Right. Book gets married and he goes <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Woo! Oh man. Um. All right. So let's talk about some shit that's relevant. We yeah, want to yeah, talk yeah. about uh. Nobody said anything about their week, really, but it's all good. That's okay. Um, thought experiments are way more interesting. Yeah, we want to talk about uh, X Men '97. Let's 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 right, start. Yeah, let's the way. Um, X Men's. Oh, Take it away, man. boys. Uh, Do we us, have some us. like screen shares or something? Yeah, I got a screen share going. I was gonna look for that one photo that's in the group right now. Mm. That is uh, it's getting a lot of attention. You see, so X Men '97 is the newly. Uh, are we talking spoilers, March, though, first of all? Reboot. Yeah, we can talk spoilers. It was Wednesday, right? Yes. All right. Well, tur- turn off if you don't want to. If you want to hear what happened in the most recent <laughs> it's episode. Too early for people to turn uh, off the show already. It was a lot. <laughs> it was a lot of. Uh, it was a lot going on. It was uh, fast paced and uh, a lot happened. And they, uh, they, uh, again, they give us a lot in a uh, in a half hour. Right? It was a half hour. Yep. Yeah. 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 So yeah, X Men '97 is the I guess reboot or the continuation from the old X Men '90s show. New storylines, uh, new animation, some of the same old voices, some great voice acting, and in this episode, all hell broke loose. All right, so it was continuing from previous storylines uh, uh, where uh, Jean Grey and Cyclops did have a baby that may be Jean Grey's, but maybe not. It's possibly uh, Madeline Pryor's baby. And that I think baby it's clear named... it was Madeline Pryor's baby. Okay. Yeah. She's that been baby a named... for a while. Okay. They named the baby Nathan Summers. So yeah. Cable sent them off into the future with Bishop, sent the two black people off the show. <laughs> Briefly, they sent Bishop into the future, Storm lost her powers, and went off to uh, uh, hang out with Forge. And um, and yeah, and in this episode, we saw a full-grown man cable 
return for a brief moment. Um, we talking spoilers, all right? I got the spoiler tag up if you guys want to, yeah. At this okay. point, sure. All right, so they had this whole gala situation on uh, Genosha. Mm -hmm. As soon as that happened, I knew it was over. <laughs> 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 because we've seen... First of all, they've been borrowing from a lot of different storylines from the comic books and just kind of mashing them all together. And usually I probably wouldn't like that, but it's been fun. It's been really, really fun the way they've been doing that. So the gala is something that is kind of modern that has happened after the like House and Powers of X, where they've had these like big extravagant uh, mutant galas or whatever. So they were celebrating uh, the mutants getting their own nation of Genosha, and we saw a lot of cameos and a lot of different characters throughout that. We saw our, I guess it was the first time we saw a Nightcrawler on, on screen, right? When it was actually him, yes. Yeah. Right, right, right. Okay, correct, right, because Morph had morphed into Nightcrawler briefly, right? Yep. So I enjoyed that. I think he was animated nicely and voiced over well. German accent. I thought that was cool. Um, and yeah, they had this big gala and in the comic books many, many years ago, uh, Genosha was pretty much decimated by Cassandra Nova and pretty much that like decimated the mutant population. And there was only like 186, 187 mutants left after that. And then they couldn't, um, they could not, no more new mutants were being born after that. Something was going on. They were trying to figure out the situation. I don't know if they're going to dive into something like that on this show. But again, once they showed this whole gala in um, Genosha, I just knew something bad was going to happen. And everything, everybody died. Right, Rick? A lot of people. Um, all right. Almost all of them. Um, yeah. And, you know. I see a lot of people really mad and taking this shit to like heart, like, like uh, it's real, right? Um, They're cartoons. I, I think no, not not in that way. I mean, like, like that it's permanent within the cartoon. Yeah, like it's gonna stick. Nah, definitely. Yeah, not. I mean, we saw Cable for a reason. He's definitely turning back time, mm -hmm. and I'm sure people are still gonna die. I'm sure people are still gonna die, but not everybody that died in that moment mm -hmm. um, or anything. I don't imagine. Um, so some a uh, couple big deaths, right? Yeah, Magneto, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Nightcrawler. Gambit. Well, he didn't die. Nightcrawler didn't no, die. They said he was okay. Oh, okay. Uh, but but that was actually I feel like that was a nod to uh, <laughs> to the Second Coming storyline with with Nightcrawler because it was a similar sort of thing that happened. He was porting in trying to save somebody during Second Coming, and um, and uh, Bastion, uh, like when he phased, he had like went through his arm like went through Nightcrawler's chest and he died in, in second coming actually that was like one of the saddest moments um uh, second coming was pretty raw uh, i've uh advocated for that story for a very long time but um yeah bastion killed off a lot of mutants during uh during second coming but yeah i felt like that was a nod to uh to second coming uh the way that he got hurt um but yeah go ahead rick sorry um, no, yeah, but we were, we were, we were like at the biggest ones, right? Um, we Maybe didn't yeah. see a lot of other people die, but we could just surmise that they did. Mm -hmm. Um, cause we didn't see them again, you know, but I'm assuming a lot of these, a lot of these dudes died. Um, I think it's all going to get walked back. I seen a lot of people like get upset, like in their stories, like this isn't the X-Men that I was looking for. Like, this isn't the X-Men that I used to watch. Like, I mean. I, I just don't think it's gonna stick. I don't think it's gonna stick. I think we saw. No, nah, no. Nah. I think we I saw think Cable we'll, for we'll, a reason. Yeah, for sure. I think we'll see that this will be a timeline that they could fix, or it'll be an alternate th timeline, or something will happen. You know, obviously, like you said, Cable showed up for a reason. But I was actually surprised at how like raw the episode was, like with the oh, blood yeah. and like deaths and like even with the like. <laughs> Little like kissing and yeah, stuff they, that was they going were, on. They were getting crazy in that little yeah. air tango they were doing, man. They were, they were <laughs> yeah. like, we, we were watching it live and we were like, Wow, what the fuck's going on? Why, yeah. why the fuck are these guys doing this? It's kind of kind of adult, yeah. Well, um, when you got something like Invincible also streaming at the same time, it's uh, mm. 
Gotta push the envelope a little bit, huh? Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. which leads me to my point. Okay. I'm not here to make it I'm not here to make friends, all right? Oh god. I didn't like it. <laughs> what? I didn't like it. Why not? You didn't like the episode? No, no. I, I don't like the direction that the show is going. Why? Mm. In what way? <clears throat> well, because I worry that the subject matter is a little too strong for a cartoon. All right, mm. okay. But all like right. okay. the bit is over. Like as a you know, <laughs> Someone who God. grew up with this and never went back to revisit it. I only have my memories of it. Mm. Um, you know, everything is supposed to to go back to status quo at the end of the episode, and they're all supposed to gather around the kitchen table or whatever, and be all like, "Wow, that was crazy! Remember, when we almost all got wiped out by that giant sentinel with three heads." Ah ha! And then it, they all laugh, and then it yeah. zooms out, and then it goes to credits, and everybody's happy. No, and, no man, alive. I think this was a. I, I think it's been a, a pretty fun ride. I <laughs> thought this was. Mm. We're the best episodes so far, well, for sure. Yeah, we're um, a cartoon, not something with consequences. Oh my god! Other little cameos that we saw: uh, we saw uh, the Morlocks. Uh, we saw Multiple Man for a brief moment. Yeah, that was dope. I was like, Multiple Man. Yeah. You know, we saw the. Uh, we saw we saw Boom Boom, and we saw um, what's Dazzler. Dazzler too. Dazzler, we yeah. Them both. It um, was the like exo like inner skeleton little oh, yeah. person guy. Um that was Leech. introduced during yeah, Leech was part of the uh the Morlocks, but mm -hmm. the other like outside inside person was uh introduced during the during the new X Men run during that introduction of uh Cassandra Nova actually. I forgot the name of that character. Uh, shout out to Kev touring around. I saw him point out something that I yeah. missed completely. Me too, me too. Yeah. So is it the big change in the intro? No. Can, oh, can we actually oh, bring the up yeah, okay. that little story? He didn't have no music on there, did he? Maybe. It was on it his uh there. maybe it was on his Instagram. I think he was posted. It? Let's see. Was it a hard post? Did it make the feed? Let's yeah, see. it did. Yeah. Bruh. Yeah, shout out to him. Let's yeah. bring let's bring Kev up in here. Here we go. Oh, he's bringing us in real close. Zoom in, Kevin, please. Enhance. What the? Look at that. The watcher in the, watcher the sky. Was there, baby. baby. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So watcher was there. Another cool cameo. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, man. This has been uh, this has been very fun. Very. Does fun. that mean? This is in the same universe as What If. Mm. That's what they're saying. That's what they're saying. Mm. Interesting. Big if true. Big um, if true. How many episodes we got for this season? Mm, let me see. Eight? I don't think so. No? Less or more? No, because, because uh, the creator, Bo DeMeo, said, like, if you think this is crazy, get ready for episode nine and ten. Yeah, ten. There's ten, ten, um, and and he he they already made season two, so I don't know if they're gonna wait for next year for season two. Hmm. If they're gonna do it at the end of the year. Double dip on us to yeah. in one year. They I I'm not sure they might they might they don't have no content this year, so hmm. um all they got is Deadpool and Wolverine. Uh, well, there's no other movie, so I feel like they're selling a lot more toys right now, and oh, yeah. also they just I saw a Hasbro post put up a like a old school like. <laughs> Um, uh, commercial oh, yeah. for the toys that was very nostalgic. Um, so you could check that out. I don't. I think there was music on that, so you might not want to play. Yeah, it. I'll play it without audio. Hasbro Pulse put up uh, a little commercial that was that yeah. was pretty cool. That, that first wave is going for stupid money. Mm. That Wolverine is seventy five dollars everywhere. Yeah, what? yeah. yeah. Almost impossible for you to find a, a Wolverine right now. But guess who did? Me last week. Yeah, I saw. Shout out to Josh. I saw he had found the Wolverine too. This shit's been rotting on my Target shelves like two months ago. Say it again. <laughs> I said those things are rotting on my Target shelves like two months mm, ago. Yeah, the Wolverines. Yeah, like yeah. the whole. Bro, way. get in there. I mean, maybe if I had a time machine, I could take it back two months. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Even Cyclops goes for a little bit over retail now. I think he's at 35. Hmm. Um, yeah. 
Oh well, yeah, X Men ninety seven is um you know people are watching it. They are. They definitely are. Um, so it's the uh, the talk of the toy community right now, and even the, just the uh, casual kind of movie, you know, Marvel fan is uh, is tuning what, into the show as well. What do you what do you what do you guys think? You guys think they're gonna just? You think they're gonna do a continuation of Spider Man next? Mm. I'd, say it, I'd say it's pretty inevitable Ooh. at this point. This sure, show is so much who was that that mentioned that they would like to see them, you know, do Spider Man and uh, kind of reboot uh, Avengers Earth's Mightiest and like, you know, um, everybody? Yeah, yeah. Everybody. I think at the very least we're going to see the 90s Spider Man continue, especially because that like left off like on unfinished story. But mm-hmm. listen, um, this is the same thing that happened with the MCU. They're like, oh, you got all these great characters. We should like make a bunch of Disney Plus shows about all of them. And now there's too many. And we're sick of it. So, do we really I mean, want every cartoon getting rebooted just like this one? The different, the difference with the MCU though cartoon, is that, like, but you know, the big ones: X Men, Avengers, Spider Man. The biggest thing that that that's the difference though is that the MCU, like those shows, like the way that they structure the MCU, some of them are required watching, and it's a fucking lot to take in. These animated shows, mm-hmm. you don't gotta watch these things to like be up to date on any of these like films, but yeah. like. Yeah, with those, yeah. with those MCUs, with those MCU shows, you're you're kind of fucked if you don't watch some of them. Like you're not pieces are going to be in there that you don't know. Like with this Deadpool mm-hmm. movie, like you have to have watched these Loki series to like know the TVA and mm-hmm. and you know what that all is. Like, see, that's the issue with those shows is that like you could say no to this. You don't have to watch X Men '97, and you'll be fine. You don't have to watch spider-man or whatever else they bring back but like with those mcu shows the way that they're structured sometimes you have to have watched them like when they continue vision storyline or, or scarlet witch's storyline you're gonna be fucked if you didn't watch that show no is, is, is the problem if they ever get around to it yeah I mean, if, if they vision, ever do white vision's been gone for four years well supposedly wonder man's still filming later on this year i i, I don't know though i wouldn't hold my breath they claim that it yeah. is. Um, the, they claim it is. All right. So uh, X Men '97. Uh, anybody? Anything we might have missed or should touch on from the chat? Anybody? Yeah. From the show. Any, any, um, oh yeah, man. Oh, got a few comments here. We, we uh, can't. Uh, we can't glaze over the fact that Scott absolutely went nuclear on that woman. Uh, what? Who? What? On the person that was interviewing. The woman that was interviewing Scott. Yeah, I saw that clip. That was pretty cool. Just fucking lost it on her ass. Mm-hmm. That was hilarious. That was dope. Hmm. I thought Cyclops was like the lame X Men, but now he's like cool. <laughs> mm. Oh, big. <laughs> so the, that they're kind the of the commitment to the bit is next to, to like a god level. <laughs> <laughs> Bo Big says they're kind of mixing storylines, but it's been working so far. <laughs> what do you think, Bo? Is it working so far? Yeah, I, I think it's cool. And I think that it could, you know, again, the casual viewer might get interested and might go d- dive in a comic book. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, again, the well, we'll X-Men storylines in the past, I don't know, 15, 20 years mostly have been pretty fire, man. Like, you know, again, everything from right before Second Coming through what's currently going on um, it has been very cool, man. Very yeah. cool. Yeah, so. I, um, I, I, I just hope that going forward, I, I know that the two seasons are basically done now and the guy did both of them. So there's not much that's going to change, I suppose, up to what they've already mail. done. But hopefully going fa- forward, they fix this pacing. I don't like how fast the pacing is. This epi- this past episode wasn't as bad because there's so much going on that like you don't really worry about the pacing, but like that Jubilee episode and Well, that was a particularly rush one because it was two episodes. Yeah, it was one. two episodes in one. Um but but even even though even the ones before that um they they were really really rushed. I felt like they like they were just ready to pump things out and I understand that you know, to that point, they don't know what's going to happen with the show. They don't know if it's going to continue. Um, they don't know if this is the only shot that they get. I understand that. Hopefully, going forward, the pacing is a little bit better, and they don't just cram so much into single episodes, especially when we only get thirty minutes. Mm-hmm. But um, isn't that I've, just, I've been loving it. Besides, isn't that just classic corporation or production company 
nonsense. We have this really successful show. What can we do to make sure it isn't anymore? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that's X Men ninety seven. We're gonna keep watching. This was episode five or four. I think five? it's gonna be five. What do you mean it's gonna be five? That was, was ep- five. that was episode five. The, the next that one, was episode five. The next one oh, we're getting a six. The next one was gonna be five. All right, so we got five more episodes to go. That means yeah. we halfway through the the first season. We hit the halfway sure. point. They, uh, you know, came with a banger halfway through. Not bad at all. They should also learn from Invincible and take a three month hiatus right now. Nah. Genius, Please. genius <laughs> move. Everybody wants that. Everybody's clamoring for that right now. Yeah, I just need. To, I'm a little uh, X Men out, you know. Yeah, I see people love the show, but they all say, "I wish we had three month hiatuses." Yeah, yeah. Everyone's saying it. Everyone's saying it. I wasn't. Everyone. I wasn't ready for uh, Magento to die. Can I please take three months? Magneto. I need a little sojourn. <laughs> Magento. That's that's not Chamba trying to say soju. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Right. Where we uh, where we going next? We talk to toys next. next. We doing Hasbro? They a little bit of Hasbro because oh, here's that commercial that we were mentioning. Perfect. Look at this. No audio. Way. Whoa. Oh, baby. Oh. Dang. Oh. Very classic. Woo. To me, my X Men. Mm. What's the weather report, Storm? <laughs> Bear. <laughs> Like a cloudy prices. with a chance of beach balls. Not <laughs> you sound just like her. Oh my god! Yeah, mm. Well, they were showing the uh, the legends ones there too, not just the small ones, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah those, are le- those are all the legends, man. Yeah, yeah all, all the, the legends ones for some reason. That's cool. No, man. They just didn't. Uh, they didn't like pose the shit really at all. But it's all yeah, good. yeah. I get it. That's just funny that they're showing the. The Sentinel from the the kids line at the Legends. Mm-hmm. It's brand sense, you know, synergy, baby. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of Legends, though, guess who's getting a little, little re pre order? Mm-hmm. Willie oh, the Fisk. Fisk. Willie the yeah, Fisk. Yeah, I mean, I feel like we already did this. What's the difference between us and the last time they did this? Nothing. Absolutely. No. It's just an exact re release of of the of the last one. It's because right. it goes it goes for so much for money. Shot remake. Oh, it's, it's yeah. hard to yeah. get now? Is that yeah, it's it? It's really expensive. This and Rhino yeah. both go for a lot of money. Oh, I didn't know. Um, okay. not, any, not anymore, obviously, because this is getting re-released, but it was mm. going for 100 bucks. Wow. Okay. This, and who else was getting expensive? Uh, Rhino's getting expensive. I think he's going to be next. Oh, okay. As a mm-hmm. release. He should be. Yeah, well, he looks um, just like the first one. Mm-hmm. I still haven't taken mine off card. We got a... Um, we got money. We, well, not anymore. We did get a alert that there's going to be um, a Hasbro live stream on Monday, right? Did they? Did they? I feel I like I saw that. I'll trust you. Can I'm we out get of the loop. Information on that, Fabio. Anything on their page, Fabio? On Not what? Fabio? There's going to be another um, Hasbro yeah, live stream. Right there. Right there, April fifteenth, you know, eleven Legends a.m. Fans, assemble, join your favorite Hasbro Marvel Legends boys on Monday, April fifteenth at eleven a.m. Eastern time, as they take over the stream and deliver some hot new reveals for your collection. You don't oh, want to miss yeah. out. Catch it next week on Hasbro Pulse. Now, I do know a little bit of inside information here. Uh oh. Um, I've been teasing some of the stuff on my story through the week. Uh, they have been some pictures floating around too, and uh, on Reddit and some communities and stuff like that. But yeah. I am, um, I do, uh, uh, I'm pretty certain that we're about to get an Odin figure. There's pictures of that, uh, parts of that floating around out there. Um, uh, last week sometime, Dan had said, we talked about this, he had said something to the effect of he wanted, he can't wait to show something else that Matthew shot uh, in a scene with some Iron Man figures, basically. So I'm, there's been a rumor for a while that we were going to get a Hulkbuster, and I think it'll be a comic-based uh, Hulkbuster. So I think Mama that is coming. And then the other rumors are um i saw oh, well, for the first time tonight that there were pictures of this but we supposed to get a new updated superior spider-man as well i've been i've been teasing that out on my uh on my story i'd like to see them 
And, and then, uh, you know what? We never mentioned it last uh, week. People were saying in the comments um, that leak of somebody having Astonishing Wolverine. Yeah. Yes, correct. Uh, Todd showed that. So Astonishing Wolverine, I've been teasing that out on my story as well. Do you want to see uh, them? Yeah, sure. Bring, pull up. Todd had the Astonishing Wolverine. Uh, my man. Um, okay, I'm going to click to see the spoiler. My man. Um, so we already got. Uh, Emma Frost and Cyclops in their astonishing X Men um, uniforms. We waiting for Wolverine, Kitty Pride, uh, Cathead Beast, and maybe a new updated um, Colossus. Uh, again, another great X Men storyline uh, was Josh uh, Josh uh, Whedon's run on uh, Astonishing X Men, one of the best of all times. Uh, I always talk about this, been talking about it for 20 plus years. But um, yeah, Astonishing X Men Wolverine is probably certain because it's the 50th anniversary of Wolverine. You know, we got those two packs that have been coming mm -hmm. out. Um, so yeah, rumors Odin, Astonishing X Men Wolverine, Superior Spider Man. We can see pictures of what looks to be superior spider-man my man um wing collectors has some pictures of that he shared how about if i got him right here buster there we go all right so there's that um that's uh arms and hands mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so you know that was uh another great comic book run was uh superior spider-man we are in dire need of a new spider-man maybe utilizing the uh, amazing 15 buck with some new parts some cool paint if they give him the toe joints and make him as agile as this scarlet spider that they just put out game over baby it's over mafex is is it's going away here we go it's going, there's <laughs> <simple>. <laughs> that's it mafex is gonna take one look and just shutter their doors that's it. That's it. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so, uh, there's also this. Well, uh, what's that? Cool, well, cool Marvel Marvel Legend? Pack listing. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So that popped up as a listing. That's often how we will get some of these leaks too, is when the retailers start getting listings. You know, usually the listings will come out as code names or whatever first. Mm -hmm. And then as we get closer to the release date, then, you know, uh, we'll, we'll get. Confirmation. So again, Odin, Astonishing X Men Wolverine, possibly a Hulkbuster Iron Man, um, uh, Superior Spider Man. I feel like there was one more, maybe. Let me look here. Uh, and again, we have this stream coming on Monday. So some of these things may be confirmed by the Hasbro crew then. Also, this past week, we had the reveal. The full reveal of how we were going to get Wasp. Yeah. And she is in a two pack with a six inch giant man to, you know, resemble or replicate the huge HasLab giant man that we're going to get later this year. But the only thing is that he has the black antenna. I noticed that. The, uh, the HasLab. Room room for anybody who oh. likes to display with the white ones. Yeah, so, you know, you don't have the option of the white ones, but look, they got a soft goods coat, lab coat. Rick, come on, baby. They almost got me. Fuming. You know? can't, even, can't even form This words. is in hands already. Like, this is already starting to ship out. Yes, this was in stock and, and ready to go. Mine will be here tomorrow, actually. I ordered this, and I caught the Peter Parker and Smythe two-pack on clearance. 32 bucks for that. Whoa. Yeah, I was happy about that. I didn't want to pay 57 Been holding off. This Wasp, um, the Janet Van Dyne uh, head sculpt here, really, really nice. It's a, it's a nice pack. Comparisons? Yeah, really nice. Oh, you do, huh? They look great. Look at that shit. On the same body, huh? but now oh, penless? No. Penless. Let's How go. Will that work, huh? There's this, the head swap. There it and is. Then, that looks cool. That, that looks, looks pretty really good cool. on there, I must say. Yeah, I must say. Silver's match. Hey, there's your hunk peam. Mm-hmm. 
a lot of people have been using that Hank Pym head for chuckle. Oh. So this newer one that that just came in this two pack is a little more polished, I guess. It looks a little better, a little more premium, I suppose. This wasp it's, head looks incredible. Actually. Yeah, the wasp actually, looks really, good. really fucking good. Wasp really. Like very, very like matted, muted tones. Like mm -hmm. I love it. She's gonna look like really good alongside proof. your uh, your giant man if you if you snag that. Look at that. Look at that. So now that now yeah. that we have you know their tangible evidence of their rollout plan, do you feel like this is better than an inflated giant man price that included these two from the get go? Do you, mean, do you mind listen, waiting for these to come out? I don't. Yeah, no, not at all. I mean, we're not waiting at all. Shit's th these are out before Giant Man. It's true. And it's also, absolutely true. This, is what, this is what the people complained about. You guys complained, said the price was inflated. It was too much. They stripped it down, gave us the one ninety nine ninety nine Giant Man without these behind the paywall. Put them separate. I saw people saying, some people saying that this should have been included. Nah, you forgot that they said if this was included, then Giant Man would have been two fifty. <laughs> so, yeah. what do you want to do? You know, my only my only issue with this thing is the is the same uh, thing they pulled with with Luke Cage. They they don't give uh, Janet real articulation. She has that random joint on the bottom, and it basically doesn't exist. It doesn't work. Um, my friends already have it, and they all. Brad is one of them in the comments. It, it doesn't move. It doesn't. Yeah, but the aesthetics, brother. Yeah, now they care about the aesthetic, but the giant cuts on on Ant Man don't matter, like apparently. But the but it would matter if it's on her, like you know. I, and it's not just Hasbro. Let me not act like it's Hasbro. Bandai does the same thing too. Like mm -hmm. they all randomly care about the aesthetic of a sculpt at random. Like there's like almost no rhyme or reason to it. Like there'll be an ugly cut on like this random figure. And then the next one will be like, we didn't want to destroy the sculpt. Like, dude, you destroy the sculpt every time. What are you talking about? That's Same PR speak for Mc there's not, it, they had to cut something in the budget. Oh, and then for sure. For sure. <laughs> I mean, for, for sure. That's the real reason. Cause, and like I said, it's not just them. Let me not act like it's just Hasbro's doing Bandai, uh, fucking McFarlane has where they all do the same thing where at random they'll be like we just really didn't want to compromise the scope like why you compromise it on every other figure there's cuts yeah. all over it it's okay but I think the real question we, is we know what, why. Wh where do they choose to draw the yeah. line as to where to compromise the sculpt or not yeah and that answer is usually well if it's cheaper to not do it no. yeah and, and and you know it's not even like I want seven different points of articulation on her fucking torso you know it's just as long like if that joint was there and that was it but it had better yeah, range you could have done that it would be okay the, like just the range is the, what matters ab crunch most. at least you know the, the diaphragm ab crunch like on like black widow or like i said even if you don't even if you don't even if it is just that same joint just make sure the range is there what's the yeah. point of it if there's no range it might as well not exist mm -hmm. if there's no range the the amount of the points of articulation don't matter the range in it does and um Jada, Jada finds their way with range in their joints really well. And I hope Hasbro is looking at what they're doing. Well, and, if it's uh, a ball joint, hopefully you can up. at least shave it down or something. Yeah, yeah. I hear the hard, uh, I hear the plastic is harder, though. So um, mm. I don't know how much popping off and, you know, editing that, will, how easy that will be. What do you think of that lab coat on the West Coast Avengers, Hank? I like it. I like the lab coat on uh, the other Ant Man that they showed alongside Giant Man too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. I like the you know the possibilities for uh, swapping and Kibashin and all of that stuff. I mean, that's really kind of like the one of the payoffs for continuing to collect Legends all of these years is yeah. you know you could do a lot of little cool little little things as you continue to spend money to <laughs> upgrade the same figure over and over. Yeah. But again, like we said, that's a. Well, that's I'm a glad they made it. Like every an actual time. lab coat length too because i remember i think it was like the reed richards or something back in the toy yeah, business days that had a lab coat it was like yeah floor length like a trench coat yeah it was like a, tr a trench <laughs> a coat like trench coat yeah. um yeah. but yeah this is a a solid pack you know if you want to build out your uh your classic avengers i do think at right. some point I would a classic sort of first appearance hulk will probably get a more classic looking Thor at some point. And, and again, we're about to get the like gold. Kirby Thor would be crazy. Yeah, yeah. We're about to get the gold Iron Man. So again, we'll we'll have a, a classic Avengers, I think, probably before the year is out. 
Oh, and the other thing that is rumored to be coming is, um, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this actually because I, there's no pictures of it yet. So I'll hold off to. Uh, I'll tease it on my story this week though. Hey, you're a GI Joeer, right? Mm-hmm. You want to touch on this real quick? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I hate it. I dabble. What? I don't like any other Tiger um, Force stuff. Dude, Tiger- the Tiger Force stuff is so much cooler. No. Yeah. I hate it. <laughs> now, don't, don't get me wrong. I like the uh, these uh, masks and helmets and stuff here are, are pretty cool, but I, I'll wait till they are just kind of regular, I guess. I don't know. I, 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 I don't. I haven't heard things off and like go to clearance. Do people not buy these very much? Not, not really. I don't think so. Mm-hmm. Um, again, I, I'm, I'm saying you now that Navy SEAL figure, mm. top 10, contender for top 10. It's a really, really nice figure. I would recommend that all of you just buy one. It's just a fun figure. I would highly recommend that. Um, okay. yeah, this is the same, uh, motorcycle that we're about to get with, uh, that's, they call it a ferret, right? Yeah. Uh, it's an altering vehicle. Mm-hmm. This is now a tiger paw ATV. Mm. So yeah, I'm good. I'm good on that. Uh, was the uh, other was so cool? It was something else from Hasbro though, too, right? Um, that might be it. Oh no, there's a Robo Sun Megatron coming. If this guy turns into a fucking gun, I'm gonna lose my shit. I, I will say that the other thing that is rumored to be coming is uh, Captain America. Thing. I'll say that. Sam Wilson cap. You know, yeah, you'll have to you'll have to watch to find out. I guess so. Yeah, when will we watch again? Hey, how about the fifteenth at eleven a.m. Eastern? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, what's next? What's next for news? That was Hasbro. Uh, go to Lago's page. I want to talk about this Goku kit that's coming out. Oh, okay, okay. Um, before we get there. Rick, do we have any uh, super chats that we should catch up on? Rick? Uh? Rick's gone. Dang, Rick died. <laughs> All right. I think we had one from uh, Brad Harper. Hit us with 199. Thank you, sir. He says, Happy Friday, KUTs. Mwah. Thanks, buddy. There it is. Hell yeah. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Appreciate that. Um, oh, dude, Sifu Hotman passed on the Navy Seal Joe figure and picked up the new Kaioken Goku. It's a hot commodity. I think it's Hondo L is one ninety nine as well. A couple of praise emojis. Thank you, sir. Hell yeah, dude. Thank you, man. Hendo L. Thank you, sir. Um, Lago's in the chat. What's up, dude? We're gonna check out uh, what, you, what news you've been reporting on lately. Oh, some of the leaked uh, Wolverine theater merch. I was the the top one bucket is uh, Deadpool on like a taxi cab. That was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Oh, hey, Rick. Um, sorry, Vince. Vince came here and uh, he picked <laughs> up something. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I gave it. I gave it. What are we looking at over here? How about this go um, right here? Well, actually, there's breaking news if you want to go to Instamashi. Well, it's not really breaking news, but it's a breaking announcement. Let's do that. They first, showed off Go- Gohan in the box. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sun Gohan. There he is. Sun Gohan. It was like I already had the tab open. That's crazy. There he is. Yeah, it drops the on the 20th. That's him. This really Speaking has of, some- uh, Soft goods, huh? You want a soft yeah. goods run? Yeah. That's right. These titles that they give these really have some uh, some Monkey King, Sun Wukong, Great Sage, Equal to Heaven vibes. Hell yeah. The fighter who surpassed Goku. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <clears throat> How about um? Oh, wait, there was more pictures. I oh, know that was it. It's just two. It's just two. Oh, okay. Here you go. Just two people already it's, have uh, Mecha Frieza. People- which is pretty cool. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I saw uh, I saw E Rivera post pictures. I don't think they were his pictures, but he did have some share some in hand pictures. Of, what you know um, about Demon's Lady Fit? Hey, if anybody has He's a line on up. that Mecha Frieza, please let me know. 
uh, I was a fool. What's it? And I What's did not pre-order it. <laughs> what do you mean? I just didn't pre-order it. I don't know what happened. You didn't pre-order it? No, I didn't. I, that's hey. just like something I missed. I missed that. I missed uh, hold the, the Vegeta. Hold on. And I missed... Is that on? Is it on Big Bad Toys now? Yeah, but Probably for like 180 bucks. Like it's, I think it's like 120 on BBTS, and it's sold out. Is it sold out? The pre-order sold out. You sure? Yep. I checked this morning. At what that price, it? it's sold out. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it was it was 140. Dang. Oh, even worse. 140. <laughs> anyway, that'd be um, great. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll uh, I'll keep a lookout for you if. Uh, if somebody cancels or can't pay, they'll mm-hmm. usually give me a heads up, and I'll just okay. grab it for you. Yeah, he was one forty, same price as um, Giga Chad Frieza. It's true. Yeah, I Five forgot to order. That. Oh my god! I forgot great. to order Giga Chad Frieza and uh, and Mecha Frieza. Wait, did I order? <laughs> Buff Frieza. It's just too many Friezas. You know, I'm just like, oh, I have that Frieza. Turns out. Oh, Mega Man went back in stock on uh, BBTS too, right? That 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 had already dropped, right? And then it has sold out, right? From Jada? Yes, from Jada. Jada. Well, yeah, I well, bet it's, uh, it's, it's been in popping stock, in and out in stock right now. Uh, just uh, going back to Legends really quick. I did get um, uh, what's my man name? Uh, Tombstone. Nice. Tombstone. You know what's so funny is I I found. Name. I found Tombstone and uh and the rest of that wave and uh I found that Duke that like one on the vintage card mm-hmm. and a bunch of stuff and I just put it to the side and I gave it to, to Wade a couple weeks back. I, I I met up with Wade. Unparalleled universe, ever heard of him? Dang. Uh, local legend. uh yeah, and we, we did like a I I held him down and I, I hit them in my target like a like a like a jerk. You know I me? did open the uh Wolverine oh, and Sabre Duke pack as well. If you I don't saw you uh, opening that saber tooth. How is it? It's really nice, man. It's really nice. It's uh, oh, oh, it's, oh, let's see that bad boy. It's almost there, you know. It's almost there. It's got the penless upper torso, right? Mm-hmm. Arms and what have you. But then it's got the pins and the legs. But uh, yeah. it's on the buck that we would want for saber tooth. It's pretty articulated for saber tooth. I mean, at some point, I would like a. Uh, Neutral head scope. You get two head scopes here, though. They're kind of smiling, and then one like snarling. You get two sets of hands, but they're all, both open, basically, just like different <laughs> levels of being open. I wouldn't mind some fist and a neutral head, but the uh, May shelf head looks a really neutral good. head. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see that May shelf head. You've had that for years. Yeah. Uh, the May shelf saber tooth head looks pretty good. The May Shelf Wolverine head with the cigar is too small, unfortunately. But this looks okay. Let me isolate you. Yeah, that looks pretty damn good. That looks all right. That's fantastic. Yeah. So uh, I, I was just sitting here staring at the May Shelf head on the body for a while, and it kind of made me hate the <laughs> Legends heads, but, but it's all good. Um, Maybe I'll do that. <laughs> yeah. So you know you got a real treat if you were able to snag that painted saber tooth head. Um, and I opened uh, Angel as well. This face is a little, a little goofy. But I'm just glad you don't look like Brad Pitt. But yeah, you know, my bad. And then Wolverine is nice again. If you have other Wolverines in terms of like. Swapping heads on this one. So swapping heads. Yeah, this is nice. I like this a lot. And yeah, it's a decent pack. All right, where are we going? Um, We were back on Lago's back page on Lago. real quick. Baby boy Lago. Yeah. Have you seen them? this? Yeah, man. Yes. I just want this to release, man. I just, you know, it's hard to know sometimes a demon eye fit. Um, I don't care if this thing is one ninth scale. I don't care if it's 112. There's rumors people saying like it's not going to be 112 scale. I don't care. Don't care. Don't care. File I, it under. Don't care. I just want it. <laughs> I know. Yeah. That, that's why. Like that rumor to me doesn't even matter because like why wouldn't it be 112? It doesn't make any sense. It will be, 
and I just want it to exist. Please exist. Can I have it? Please? I just want to own it. For the love of God. I never bought the Nendoroid. I was just about to ask, do you not have the Nendoroid? Dang. No, and now, now it goes for like a hundred something bucks, I think. Um, oh, I'm glad I bought it. Much more than I would want to spend on a Nendoroid. You you got it, Poncho? Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. Must be nice. Well, it is good, nice. Good it's great, actually. Yeah. Ask me anything you want about it. Well, uh, <laughs> uh, that must be nice. Uh, must be nice. Um, I'm, I, I hope it comes out. I hope it comes out. Um, then they got um, two others that they showed with this demoniacal fit thing. I don't think Fabio's there, but they're there. Go to Lagos That's page. Okay. They're there. I don't believe they exist. <laughs> I swear. Oh, there he is. He's back. Hey, I went to go re up my beverage. You buying them all, Puncher, or what? In on all of these, or what? Uh, the Arale and uh, this little, this little, this little critter for sure. Uh, not not like yeah, from um, the other Akira thing. <laughs> they're all, they're all Akira. No, not all, but the, yeah, these these two are Akira. This is from, I don't know what this guy is from specifically. Uh, maybe Dragon Quest Die. Maybe I think. Dragon Quest, you say? Um, but I don't know who the who the Tipos guy is from. Rick, do you know? Yeah, I, I I don't know the T pose uh, fellow either. Somebody in the chat educated, and they're gonna be like, "How do you not know? You said you like Arale, and this guy is from Doctor Slump." Like, <laughs> I'm gonna hit us with something like, "Don't you know who this? Is? Wow, you guys came to be Toriyama fans. Look at this. Is this guy from this place?" And uh, um, they all. It's it's. I hope that they get made. Really, really cool looking figures. Uh, specifically that Arale. I don't care about the other two. Don't care. Just give me Arale, please. I would like some more Toriyama designed, like just dudes to beat up on, like henchmen or yeah. anything. Yeah, whether, that's fun. Whether it be from Dragon Ball, Dragon Quest, Chrono Trigger, Tobol Dragon II. Dogma. Uh, no, that is not a Kira Turner project. But. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who you're talking about. But yeah, it's it's cool. They they did they did some goons from Dragon Quest. Bring Arts did a while ago. But they're like severely mm-hmm. undersized for their, for their like pro- proportions. Like they they're these huge muscly dudes, but like, um, you know they're barely six inches tall. So it's kind of weird. <laughs> so I didn't get that. I was ready to go all in on those, like four of those, but they were just too short. Uh, go to that Goku torso sculpt real quick, Jamie. Jamie, could you pull up that? Uh... Hey, Jamie. <laughs> A little lower, Jamie. No. Why is he balancing a pod on his head? What was that? Uh, I guess this works too. Uh, so this is just another picture. Go, go to like the previous post you were on. I don't know why he's balancing that ball. Uh, so this is a TK DIY. They've done a couple of head sculpts and hair sculpts in the past before, uh, but this is uh, their uh, t- uh, torso sculpt for Goku, which is really interesting because it takes on more of like a Revoltech articulation style. A lot of people have not seen this image. They've only seen like the the pictures of the sculpts and whatever, and they're kind of like criticizing the sculpt of being too buff or like looking strange for, you know, ultra instant Goku. But like, this is, this is the sculpt of this picture by Toru Taro of the newly, newly released, uh, ultra instant Goku that came with like the book and everything. I got mine earlier this week and I flipped through that book and it's, 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 it's a very interesting book. It's really cool. Uh, it's a nice like catalog of the Dragon Ball SHF line and all that stuff. Um, but I think this is a really, really on model sculpt of this picture. It looks just like it. It's absolutely unreal. Um, this went up on 5k toys earlier this week. I think it was $50. Um, that shit sold out in like half a day. It wasn't even (laughs) close, (laughs) but it is up sometime somewhere on AliExpress as well. But I dig it, man. I think this looks really cool. I think it's really rad to see like a different art direction for SHF or just like a different art direction for Dragon Ball figures. Like it's so easy to think of like SHF when you think of articulated Dragon Ball figures because like they're the only people that are doing it, you know, aside from like Dragon Stars 
and figure rise and like some outliers here and there but like mm-hmm. the design language of dragon ball shfs has like kind of has basically kind of like plateaued in terms of like extremities like i would say like almost all of them look not in a bad way, but a lot of them look the same because they all, you know, the line's been around for 10 years. The de- the design language is is written. Like, they they got it. Like, it's just a well-oiled machine now. So everybody's sculpt is basically on the same level in terms of art direction. I would say in the last couple of years, the only, like, real outliers is, like, that Bardock had kind of, like, a funky sculpt design to it. It was more, like, uh, it was more, I wouldn't say detailed, but, like, it didn't really fit the same like mold as other dragon ball shfs but it's so cool to see like such a radically different design with this torso um i think it looks great i think the range looks really great too the only you know critique that i have for the for the sculpt is there's no bicep swivel um Mm. but hopefully that revolt tech joint will take care of it if you go back to that previous slide where he's doing the kamehameha like you can see that the shoulder definitely has the range to pivot up as if there was a bicep swivel on it. Mm -hmm. So I'm not really too worried about the range, uh, but maybe I am a little bit worried on like the way the bicep will look in different poses and whatnot. It will look a little funky, but you know, I'm super open to the idea of just like, just like a completely different art direction for a sculpt on a Dragon Ball Mm -hmm. SHF. Yeah. Especially if it's, it's, if, if you just get in this full one off just for the yeah. art of it, just exactly. for the one off and it's meant to match this art, then I don't see yeah. how that affects like the rest of the line. I would say I the closest it. thing to this that has been available to buy before was maybe, um, uh, Re- I think his name is Repeat, Repeat DC. He did a, he did a very small run of Toyotaro ultra instinct goku's as well where he still had like the blue gi on but he like he like completely sculpted it himself and uh no the replicant that's what his name is a a customizer that goes by the replicant extremely talented guy um but he did a sculpt of uh ultra instinct goku and the and the art the art direction for that was like completely different than standard shfs and it looked it looked fantastic um I don't know two people. I only know one person that owns it, and I'm extremely jealous. <laughs> but, wow. but uh, yeah, man, this is super cool. Hopefully, it ships soon. I think it's quarter three, maybe. Um, but you know, these third party people, they they're always like on it. Um, it it went up for pre order today. It's probably it's probably being made at the factory right now, as we speak. Who knows? Yo, side note. Not related at all. But what okay. is going on with the short round figure? I've had this shit on pre-order with Big Bad Toy Store for months and months and months. Like Bro, they, they're they're fleecing you right now because I got it last year. Oof, Early what? last year, before Comic Con, I think. <laughs> it's crazy. And I saw I saw this figure in when I was in Paris, I saw this figure. <laughs> oh, <geez. Before. laughs> oh. Should have got it there. You know, pa- Pancho, I did some digging. All right, okay. Um, I tried to look up the name of Homeboy with the fucking suit and tie, or with the shirt, dress shirt and tie, and uh, guess what? Nobody knows it. Dress shirt. Oh, Nobody. okay. <laughs> Nobody knows them. I know, I know, but everybody knows that crocodile guy. I guess his name is Crocodine. I love um, it. Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest. Here we go. Dragon Quest. Quest. Um, but nobody knows Homeboy with the fucking musical notes and like the or like the, the sheet. The sheets of like scroll and whatever. Nobody knows who that is. Yeah, yeah. that'll be okay. the entire post is people going, "Who is this? Who knows his name? Does anybody know who this is?" Not a single person. Like, oh my god, it's blank, blank from blank. God, Akira Toriyama is <laughs> God. Is like nobody, <laughs> not a single person. That crocodile one though. There's a lot of people. Crocodile, fuck yeah, Dragon Quest lives. I'm into it, dude. Dragon Quest dies. Extremely popular. Um, yeah, great anime. Yeah, hey. yeah, nobody knows who this yeah, is. I guess nobody knows who this is. If anybody knows who this is, please school us. Please dunk on us in the comments. Like, <laughs> if you, call us buffoons. Let us know who he is. Yeah, this is probably obvious. But right now, he just looks like Gary from accounting. <laughs> yeah, looks exactly like uh, one of my coworkers. Yeah, uh, yeah. Go to that Cami. Look, People have been talking about that Cami like all day, real quick. <laughs> yeah, the, oh, the chat. Go, go, go. We had a. Uh, 
super chat coming in from Uncanny Sculpts. What's up, Tyler? Hell he says, yeah, what's up, gents? Just got a ton of legends in from Pulse, and the Hank Wasp Toot Pack comes in tomorrow. Looking forward to that Legends live stream. Let's go. Hey, thanks, yeah, should be some exciting stuff. I, and even, even with the issues of that Wasp, I still want that two pack. I think I'm going to take my time with it, though, but I do want it because it's, it's got to go with that giant man, baby. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy, yeah, the turnaround time on that for it to already be in hands. Did you guys that, read the other Super Chats we got? We did, yes, yes, yes while okay. you were away. Yes, I well, I was um, holding Vince in my arms, yeah. Not a super chat, but it, it's worth addressing. Punker Mike is in the chat. Yo, shout out to Mike. What's up, man? Shout out to PM. He says, hella digging Boog's sweater. Why, thank you. Let's go. Wow, he's loving Boog's sweaty. Got Lago Figs in the chat. Wow, Lago, we're using your page because without you, we'd be lost. Thanks, That's Lago. Right. I know. What a guy, this Lago. And then I saw Sonic Rockman X says, hey, Rick, I've been skimming through Berserk Monk, and I'm currently in the Lost Children arc. Mm. You lucky duck. Take me back to the first time of reading Berserk. Um, a wonderful experience. Talking, a lot of people in the chat here are talking about this cami here. Yeah, I saw this today and I like had to like double take. Like, what, 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 what's scroll, happening here? Scroll through the comments and read the absolute depravity. You that, know what? When I saw this, community. <laughs> you know, just the this. No, no, dis no disrespect to Lago, but you know, it, it's not. This is an abnormal amount of engagement <laughs> for. <laughs> <laughs> so we know why that is. He's, right? he's cracked yeah. the code, baby. Yeah, he cracked the code. They, they cracked it's because the code, he posted yeah. it at a certain time, right? You figured that out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna link video. this. I'm gonna link this to anybody who has a Kickstarter going and say, make one of these. It'll fund next day, guaranteed. Mm -hmm. Um. This shit is they crazy. know what they was doing with these poses, man. Go <laughs> figure, go who has been go go figure, go who has been in our chat many times. Mm -hmm. Says, I need a one of one scale version. Mm. That is wild. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Embarrassing yourself out there on the internet. Come on. <laughs> this is crazy, bro. Mm -hmm. She's too cheeked up. This is too real, Roy. This is. I mean, I, I understand the whole unrealistic body expectations thing but this is to another level i mean well you know just just be just me personally getting on a realistic uh stance you know about this kind of figure i just mm -hmm. don't like figures with these rubber overlays the rubber doesn't last it disintegrates mm -hmm. it's gonna disintegrate I mean, yeah it's gonna tear like i don't like <laughs> it maybe yes you're probably right i still have that fison that i've been getting a great use out of for many years right now the 112 Bison, yeah, that works well with Mezco figures and stuff. So I hear you. Six is possible if you, you, you know, they will get linty too sometimes. Yeah, yeah. that's, yeah, yeah. that's I mean, the thing, dude. They're they're dust magnets, and they also stain really easily when it's skin color. My friend, um, whoa, yeah. whoa, put it on whoa, his, buddy. <laughs> no, my my friend has one of those bison bodies, and and he put he put cloth on it, and like oh, it, it, yeah. it, it, it 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 like transferred onto the. Yeah, really easily. No, no, no. Um, you slaying yourself, Rick. Come on. <laughs> fine. Oh, I have seven of these camis in my minutes. basement. Is that what you oh. want to hear? <laughs> I will say, in this pose, it looks really good. The figure itself looks good. I will say, yeah. I will say 95% of this figure is something that I would want in my collection. But, you know, after a certain point, like there's just something there's just some stuff I don't display. I don't yeah. want. Mm -hmm. Like uh right. there's this anime store in my area. They have like a whole section of like extremely lewd statues and figures. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, who's buying this stuff? You know, more power right. to you if you are, but like why? Uh, no, I'm just <laughs> like uh, I, I I don't know, just it just couldn't be me, you know. <laughs> couldn't do it. Yeah. Um like, vi like, realist, like, this looks really good. This looks really, really nice. But, like, I'm not buying this shit. This is too much. Yeah. Like, how, how do I look my lady in the face though. with this on display in my room? I don't, yeah. I don't know. Like, I, I don't know. There's I no can't. getting away with this. No, I can't do that. But how it, it look? looks really nice, though. Proportions look good. That head sculpt looks incredible. Mm -hmm. I um, like the textures on the costume. I like the yeah. kind of, like, hexagons there in the middle. Yeah, I don't like I mean, that she doesn't have hip bones. Like, it. 
that's what like kills it like the the front yeah. right here if, if we're like trying to like actually be you know give critiques correct. give critiques for the yeah. figure but like the lack of hip bones like just makes it look like yeah. not good to me oh uh, i see what you're saying yeah 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 it just looks weird mm -hmm. but uh you know i just i just i just can't do it like even with those uh what do you call it even with those uh sentinel the the Sentinel robots? What are they called? I can't remember. What? You uh, have something against the fucking uh, synthetic the, uh, humans? Synthetic, synthetic human? humans, yeah. like the uh, female synthetic like humans? That? No, no, no. I mean, I like it, but like even then, like displaying those, um, I don't know. I, I mean, to have it on a permanent display, nah. But like yeah. to fuck around with it and and some shots. Oh, for sure. Yeah, like that. That's for what, sure. Army builder. Yeah. My, they're, my they're robots. My, you know, they're designed. Those and like the Paul, the Paula, Paula, Polly, Paula, not Polynesian, but like they're the Polly robots. You know what I'm talking about? Polyamorous? Um, no. <laughs> yeah, the, the Polly ones are different. That is different, Poncho. Those are like made to look like really lewd, and there's like a thick ass one of that one too. Uh, like, pa Polynesian. The, the, the Polynesian. That's what they're called. Polynesian yeah, robots. Paul, 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 Polynesian, that's yeah. Sausage Chick fil A. Here's the, a, here's the, the thing. The synthetic humans, they just look like like an anatomic skeleton, like come to life. Almost, True, like, absolutely. But like them. you know, there's just something about you know having a like a nude female figure on my shelf that I'm like, I'm cool. I don't need this on my shelf all the time. Even though right. it's a robot for sure. But like my my like my threshold and like my gauge and like my uh, my litmus test, I guess, or whatever you want to call it, is like. I want to feel comfortable like with like my mom and like relatives, people coming into my like display room and like looking at my shit and not just like side eyeing me and judging me for having like some of this weird shit on my shelf. You know, I just don't want to, I just don't want to deal with it. <laughs> I mean, okay. honestly, like the, everything there is weird. Like let's not get it twisted. Like, I'm, mm -hmm. you know, I'm an adult collecting children's toys, but you know, but there's you don't a want line. Them to fixate on one thing. <laughs> like, why is this here? Oh, I'm cool. It'd be funny if this is like the only one six scale figure you have in your collection. Like, oh, this, this is the one that got me on board. L Lago, Lago is uh, you're you're presenting the exact point that I have. Yeah. Even though I don't have children, you know, just insert instead of kids, but wife or girlfriend or whatever. Like, I can't have this in my collection. I have kids. Like, yeah, man. Like, yeah. That's my biggest thing. It's not even just strangers. Like, what do I tell my wife? Like, hey, yeah. man, this is just a character. I you don't really understand. Like. She's my main on the arcade. Dude, I've been. <laughs> oh, okay, Johnny. honey. Here you go. I've been you playing Cammy it. since SF2. You can't take her away from me now. Like, you know, I, can't, I, I don't know. It's too much. Shout out to Brian Merchant. We know who you are, Brian Merchant. You're uh, you're secretly working for Super 7, and you're trying to gauge interest. BM. In, uh, he's saying, Brian Merchant says, do you guys think having figures in stock right away about pre-orders will help boost sales? Well, actually, I Brian Merchant you. is my uh, burner YouTube account because I, I, I you, Brian was going to pose that exact question earlier. I see you, Brian I see you Flynn. taking it. You think we don't know it's you there trying to gauge interest? But um, yeah, I think it definitely does because you know you like kind of catch people by surprise and like in the moment they can make that decision of like, ooh, I want to buy it. But when you do pre-orders, you give me a lot of months to rethink. Like, man, I don't need this fucking Super Seven Simpsons thing, or whatever it may be. I think I think it's easy to catch people when it's like a shock drop mm -hmm. in stock now kind of thing. It's easy to catch somebody slipping, yeah. get a little yeah. money out of them. I think. Absolutely. There's but there is a fine line between the difference between a shock drop of like it's here, it's now, it's exclusive, go get it, it's gonna sell out quick, and just like we've made quantities available and a plenty and we just happen to have put it up for sale today. So go for it. Yeah, there's tons of yeah, times I, where I, I, I think like, it will uh, help Super Seven numbers. Going on pre order or whatever. What happened? I said so when's this going on pre order or whatever? Yeah, he wants to well, know. I think you it's hear more that? In reference to like the Ant Man and Wasp two pack, Giant Man and Wasp. Yeah. Okay. 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 But I don't think we know when this is going up on pre order unless oh, okay. Lago tells us. I don't care. Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't either. I have <laughs> all right, no all right, all right. Let's, let's move this on. This is getting a little I out of hand. To, uh, uh, it mildly. I wanted to touch on one thing because I, I might have to cut out, but uh, sure. uh, things to watch or watch for. I read a very funny article about this Jesse Eisenberg Sasquatch movie. Y'all heard about this? No. Absolutely I, I love not. Sasquatch theories. Is it a theory thing? You didn't hear that. about this shit? 
right, well, apparently it's like very like in your face, raw and lewd and like very strange. And, oh, like, I hate it. I figured it'd be oh, something for us to see and, and laugh about one of these uh, one of these weeks. So Sasquatch Sunset. Uh, look, yes, look it up. Look Sasquatch it up. Sasquatch Sunset. I love it. Yeah. I, I was getting a kick out of just reading an article about it. So, uh, yeah, look out for that. But anyway, what, what other yeah. news? I'm really looking forward to that that A24 movie, um, Love Lies Bleeding. What? It, it, I, I think it's an 80s period piece or something, but it's, it's got to do with the mob and female bodybuilders and some, mm. the full moon affecting people in a certain way. I don't know. It's a very okay. strange film. I saw uh, I saw a Roadhouse last week. How awful oh, that was that? It was fucking terrible. <laughs> nice. It was like you know, it was like good, terrible, really bad though. <laughs> Conor McGregor's acting is fucking awful, bro. Like because he's awful. It was bad. It yeah, was I, bad. I saw one scene on my timeline, and uh, sorry, I don't. I'm not giving you guys a spoiler alert. Spoiler alert for those who want to mm. watch the movie. Fuck that movie. Um. <laughs> Where he's like driving through the town and he wants to get to like his house and he gets mm-hmm. to his house and he doesn't put his car in park. He instead crashes it into a fucking palm tree. I don't know that that actually car, happened like, in the movie. La, 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 la. I don't know that that actually happened in the movie. I, I, they might have cut that out, but oh, it was a very extended scene of his ass through when they first like showed him in a movie too. You like, hear that, Cami lovers? But there's naked. a real ass on display in that movie. Give it a watch. His, his acting was fucking bad, bro. It yeah, was like terrible. comically awful, like terrible, like really bad. Well, but yeah, yeah. darn. It was really got a super chat. That guy, you know, he needed a W. Just in case you leave, Boog, we just got a super chat from mm-hmm. the man, the myth, mm-hmm. the legend. Man of little words, but a lot of love. Bo Biggs, baby. Bo Biggs. Hit us with a sweet and generous super chat. What an absolutely wonderful human being. A gentleman and a scholar. Absolutely. Incredible. Static Thunder on that pitch for for Roadhouse is subbing to Amazon Prime right now. There you go. You hear that, Cammy lovers? There's a real ass, and it's Connor. (laughs) Yeah, you know. I uh, should be subscribed to Prime, though, because Fallout is on there. uh, Yeah, me and my neighbor watched it. We had some some good bourbon and and laughed a lot and watched a little bit of WrestleMania. So whatever night that was, I guess that was Sunday then, right? The oh, second night of WrestleMania. Yeah, yeah. yeah my, my my friend watched that Roadhouse movie and he was like, dude, if you want to watch a movie to like make fun of with your friends and just like riff on it, watch that movie. I was like, oh, okay. That's exactly. I what mean, we're it's doing. technically like even more like wild wrestling. Like, you know what I mean? That type of like vibe. Like, I don't know. It's worse wrestling. Oh. In the movie form, I don't even know how to explain it. It's bad though. Well, it's awful. Good. There was a lot of like CGI to like make the punches look like they landed. Oh, God. was it something to do with that? I hear that's the I main criticism know. in Monkey Man too. Well, not CGI oh, to yeah. make the punches look like they, but they cut they cut punches. They cut like two frames ahead of the impact to make it look faster and quicker. Uh, some people, Ooh. some people don't even see it, but like, uh, I'm the kind of person that like notices that immediately, and I heard about it, and now I'm like, shit. <laughs> but hopefully, hopefully, isn't that like a me. big thing in Indian cinema? Uh, mm. pro- it just depends on the mm. movie. Like, R did not have any of that. I don't think so. Uh, mm, I love to see Rick gatekeeping Ponch on Bollywood cinema. Yeah, let me tell you something, <laughs> Poncho. You might be Indian, but I know Bollywood. That's funny. Um, well, technically, I, I was just curious. You know, a lot, a lot of their, a, a lot of their action scenes. I'm sure you know, like, like on those like ridiculous ones, they're like fucking really sped up and like. Oh yeah, that's kind of yeah, cut yeah. a little bit. Um, I wasn't sure. I think the the main thing that I heard from this this person that was talking about it is like. Monkey Man was has been like hyped up to be like such a like a incredible piece of you know uh like fighting cinema that like he was just like a little discouraged that like oh they're doing this all right okay that's cool <laughs> yeah everybody, it's like if they like, hire hey, man, like Jackie like Chan they don't make him they don't let him do his own shit like I I just don't know <laughs> it's like the same premise like why yeah, would you even I, do I, just that? Keep, I I keep hearing people saying like if you like John Wick and you like India this movie's for you <laughs> hey. 
I like India. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm halfway there. I love India, but Where I do you stand on John Wick though? Are no, you one of those people that's that's, that's over it? That's where, that's where they lose me. That's where they lose me. That's where they lose me. I'm over it. Keanu Reeves is the greatest killer in the world. Ah, that's great. Hey, bro, how, about, how about how about three more how movies like is, that? that. <laughs> nah, I, yeah. I heard I heard he was looking a little a little old in this most recent one. Bro, he's bro. sixty. Yeah. Hell yeah. I want he's under- sixty years old. Shut he's the Undertaker. Basically. <laughs> bro, he's older than Undertaker. <laughs> he's oh, a year bro. older than Undertaker. Yeah, that's that's wild. I can't um, wait no, for he's him the same age as Undertaker. Actually, he's fifty nine. Oh wow! Look at that. Um, was there? There was. I feel like there was one other like big thing to touch on with toy stuff. Maybe in my life. Yeah, there, there was more. There, uh, Rebel Tech's a uh, big thing with uh with Ochako. Undertaker um, is older by six months. Wow. <laughs> March Undertaker, September Keanu Reeves. Wow. wow. Yeah. yeah the what's, what's Undertaker's actual birthday? March what? March twenty fourth. Wow. May the twenty fourth be with you, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. Am I right? Ah, yeah, yeah. So this guy. Um, he's not actually a Pisces, then, huh? He's not, not with us. No, no yeah, Pisces season for him. Yeah. Um, I don't yeah. care. Fabio, if you could go back to Lago's page and hit I'm, on you know, I'm already off. there, which is crazy, dude. Are you for realsies? Because I want to talk about this. Ned Star. Oh, there um, he is. I'm sorry to inform you. This is Daryl Dixon. Oh, that's Daryl Dixon. This, this is, this is your boy. <laughs> this is your boy's making it book. This is uh, oh, your longtime shit. supporter, Haya Toys. Really? So this is yeah. what? What scale is this? Though? 112, 112, baby. Wow. Wow. Crazy. They're doing 112 yeah. soft goods stuff. This is part of their exquisite super series. Holy cow. I thought that was homeboy that played Ned Stark for a second. I mean, I was joking it about it being Bean? Ned Stark. But it, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, this looks exactly like it. Is this Daryl Dixon Stark cosplaying what? as The Undertaker? <laughs> or, or cosplaying as Ned Stark. This, this is a this is Daryl Dixon in his own TV series, right? Yeah. What's it called? I'm not watching that. What is it? Daryl Dixon. Daryl oh, Dixon. Dude, can I? I've been over this dude for fifteen years. Oh yeah. Know, right? <laughs> get 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 in line. Bro, this series is like ten years too late. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> get get in line, brother. I was over with The Walking Dead after the second season. I was like, okay, man. So what are we doing? They're just gonna keep finding places. Oh, it's not safe. Oh, this person's our friend. Oh no, they're not our friend. Ah, like, oh no, they're they're raiders or they have their own totalitarian or or yeah, evil government going on here. Oh no, we gotta overthrow them. Oh no, this assault is now being overrun by zombies. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm it's, I'm, it's I'm over this series. But it's back. Um, There's like three fucking series airing at the same time. It's crazy. So something like that. Yeah, it's too too much for me. I I know a lot of people enjoy it. You know, don't let me put, don't let me take you out of it. If you if you love, yeah, don't yuck yet. somebody else's yum. Yeah, I'm just I'm just not into it. It's just the repetitive <laughs> nature of things. I'm not into. Sure. Um, don't yuck somebody's yum. <laughs> don't yuck somebody's yum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kojima loves Man, this. Don't guy. let How that white rage seep through. You might get some salty language like that. That's Nobody true. talks about Kojima's boyfriend this way. Yeah, dude, I Kojima know, right? and I was and... gonna say too. Even if you just wanted this to like change the soft goods, but have a, Dar- a, a Norman Reedus, this is him in everything he does. <laughs> but yeah, put him in a basically... little Uber Eats outfit. There he is in Death Stranding. Yeah, that's a, that's the thing that like not, I wouldn't say. I guess it does bug me, but like. It's just like the same shit every single time. He's just like some dude with like medium length hair and he's got like fucking car grease all over him. Like, I don't don't, like, what is this? I don't know. know. Oh, don't forget. (laughs) Don't forget. Even in Death Stranding motorcycle. Yo, the motor. It's like Kojima. Kojima has such a narrow vertical slice opinion of Americana and like he just beats it into the ground with every fucking game. It's like insane. And like it's not even the same like it's not like he it's not like he threw a pin and it landed on an American town. It's like he threw 50 and he took all of them and then just took one care like it's just insane. <laughs> like the cast of Death Stranding, I don't know. <laughs> it's fucking yeah. stupid. <laughs> Night Nightwalker, <laughs> Nightwalker. This is by Hia Toys. This is their 112 line. They've done other 112 stuff. They've done Rambo. Yeah, the Rambo is actually just hitting right now, I believe. 
Yeah, they 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 did the Rambo. Uh, I think they did um, Rambo one I'm just over and three <clears throat> randomly, or maybe it was Rambo one and two. But I'm over I'm over this actor too. Everybody's saying like, oh, we want him for Ghost Rider. Like, oh man, I don't want to see this guy. If yeah. he is Ghost Rider, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Probably no, nothing. Please, no, please, no, make him Ghost Rider. He ride motorcycle. Make him Ghost Rider. No, man. <laughs> he, can ride ride. he can be like he can be like Carter Slade or something like. Just cameo him just to fulfill the fan service, but then actually have somebody be like Johnny Blaze. You know what it is? It's uh, like, it's like, you know, you can be typecasted as like Motorcycle Man, but like, but who was the other guy? Who was the guy, the main character of like Sons of Anarchy? Is that, is that that show was uh, called? uh, Yeah. 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 The guy that played uh, Jax. I I don't know his real name. Charlie. Yeah, Charlie uh, Hunnam. Yeah, who was in Pacific Rim. Rim. Yeah, he was that's in Pacific boy. Rim. And like that Pacific was like Rim. that's my most exposure to him. But then mm-hmm. like I see him in uh Sons of Anarchy and he's like a completely different dude. Daryl Dixon is just the same guy covered in motor oil every single time. He's like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> every single time he's casting a new movie. <laughs> you're 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 a real you're a you're a real Jerry Seinfeld, huh? Calling him a grease monkey. <laughs> mm-hmm. One one last thing. Seinfeld, final episode. I mean, Seinfeld. Fun. Curb. Curb your enthusiasm, final episode. Very good. Very funny. Just yeah, like I got to watch it. I, I hear nothing but great things. <laughs> very good. Very funny. Uh, we got to watch this Sasquatch movie. I'm, I'm fucking intrigued. Sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, watch the Fallout series. Say what? I'm, I'm going to watch that this week. You got to watch yeah, this I, Fallout series. I, want, I only watch the first episode. Because then... You can allow yourself to get these amazing McFarlane. Oh my toys. God, no! Where's, this, uh, where's the Fallout uh, series happening? Amazon Prime. It's on Amazon Prime, and it the first all episode has aired already. All of them. I believe. All of them are up. Mm-hmm. This I is based on a video game, right? Yeah, but it's right. like good. It's good. It's, it's actually <laughs> good. It's the... crazy. What's yeah, the, the video game or the show or both? Both. The video game is good too, um, but the the show is actually very very faithful in adapting the art direction, all the elements. All tell the, me the, the tell me the premise of this Fallout. I'm guessing it's some nuclear. Yeah, aftermath. it it kind of starts off in like a in, you know uh, retro futuristic version of like the 1960s, yep. and then uh, the bombs drop. Nuclear okay. wars at an all time high. Corporations control things. And bombs drop, two hundred years pass. People emerge from these vaults that they bought, like mm. in the before time, and all the privileged people were able to like buy their way into these vaults and survive it. Mm. And then this girl emerges, and she's got to go uh, look for her dad. It's it's classic Fallout setup. Yeah. Okay. It's good. Right. I think you. I think Sounds you enjoy good. it, but for sure, it it really feels like it could slot itself into like the existing game canon. You know, like it's yeah. it really is very faithful. I'll check it out. Uh, gotta go. Going on a Bye, date bug. with the missus. All right. Wow. You enjoy it. Uh, okay. I uh, tax season is over on Monday, okay. April fifteenth. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'll be in LA, so hopefully I'll see you, cutie pies. Wow. Yeah, please. Well, hit me up. Uh, text me. Text me all that. Yes. All right. Yeah. All right. Love you guys. Bye, bug. Bye. Love you. Bye. Oh. All, right. All right, let's oh, talk fast guy. food for 30 minutes. No, I'm just joking. Yeah, shout out, shout out to Lago Figs. He said, at least change the look or something. This guy is like that one guy who plays an essay in every movie. <laughs> for real. And he has the same He has the same name in every movie. Yeah, that's that guy's oh, heck I always His like name her. is Hector in Hector. every, Hector in every movie. movie he's in. They just call him Hector. Yeah. Uh, Before we go, I do mm-hmm. want to... Say thank you guys for reminding me that we could board first because Becca is pregnant. I I cannot I cannot believe we didn't think of that. Uh, The trip back was fantastic. We were the second people to board, like only ahead of people confined by wheelchairs, which is totally fine. (laughs) And we just uh, they, they were like three seat rows, and we just grabbed the window and the aisle seat. And just ignored every single person boarding, and nobody sat in between us. It was great. So we had the whole road to ourselves. I mean, you really are occupying three seats because you're three people. That's true. 
<laughs> three <laughs> fully formed people. You could ride the carpool one. Oh, I, I totally could. Mm-hmm. Well, she could. Not you. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Well, she could ride the carpool. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm I'm yeah. glad I'm glad I could help in any way. I could. Hell yeah. Um, what's uh, what's good with you boys? We wrapping up. Yeah, yeah I'd say so. Good. Um, you don't you don't have to put them back up, but they announced Rebel Tech Ochako. Um, her her exclusive version comes with a throw up face. Uh, you can only imagine the terrible pictures that are going to come from that. You talking about this one right here? Disgusting. Um, yeah, it's uh, oh, I'm not ready for those pictures. I got. A I'm hot, not buying that exclusive version. I got a hot take <gasps> when these pictures pull up. To be quite honest. Oh my god, <laughs> say it. I'm glad I can't. I can't you wait like to hear it. it. The, the photos are not up. Hold on, I'll, I'll click it. There we go. Do it. Wait, are on. they not up here? Largo, he's slacking, brother. Sorry, Dang. hold it. There we go. They're uh, on Largo's page right there. Scroll up. Yeah, scroll up. He, he posted them for sure. There. They're right above, right there. Revel Tech. Oh, oh, oh. oh my, my god. Right, right there. there. Yep. Yep. Those ones. Ones is it. Like it. Uh, I think the Figma looks better. To be quite honest, am I bugging? Right. I don't know. Please help me out. You know, uh, <laughs> I always say it. You know, like when it comes when it comes to Figma, man, like their 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 way to capture anime in a figure form is always above everybody else's for the most part. However, articulation is not. It's, That's I mean, it's true. not even close. This just, girl is going to be able to fucking do crazy shit articulation wise. I I don't like that the face sculpt is not there for me. And like her proportions are not there for me. Like this doesn't look like a Chaco at all to me. But also, I haven't watched My Hero in forever, so I don't know if this is like a time skip a Chaco or something. So I, I have no idea. Yeah, I think. It's- Shout out to Josh Cheney. Oh my god, We're gonna be facing the ACBA crew tonight in an eight man <laughs> tag match. Um, <laughs> after this stream on Ponchi's channel, go check it out. Um, but he said it earlier this week on his stream, like. These figures, nobody's on them enough. I'm fucking over collecting these figures. Yeah, I'm like, I've checked out, to be quite honest. Dude, dude, it's 2024. Like, this is the, what the fuck's going on? Like, people don't make anything. Like, it's so upsetting. It's so weird. Not like Hawks isn't a popular character, but like, why the fuck would they make Hawks? They wouldn't make Stain, somebody who's like really suited to their style and like their design. Nope, Hawks. Or like, oh man, Ida? Nope. Hawks. Like, <laughs> dude, we don't even have the three main children from anybody that does this line. They don't exist. It's crazy. It's crazy. I'm 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 where Cheney's at. I'm just over this shit. But um, <laughs> but it's cool. It, like, they're re-releasing Deku. He's really expensive. Is he really? Market, so that, yeah, like I think he's like a hundred bucks or something like that. Hundred something. Um, oh. obviously not anymore. Uh, I would hope. Um. And Ochako, you know, it's cool that people are going to get it. I'm happy people are getting more figures for this um, series, but I'm over it. And I think I'm I'm done waiting for any of these companies to be to be making this line. If it's not SHF, it's just not trustworthy, it seems like. Dang, wow, you said it. Oh, shout out to Shelf Presence. Yeah, I just, I don't, I don't know. I just, uh, I, 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 for me, it's just, I also stopped watching the show and reading the manga. So, like. Yeah. So like I'm I'm a, I'm okay. I'm marked safe from this issue because I never uh, <laughs> got these at all. But don't watch the show. Uh-huh. Hey, Perfect. that's that's me what with uh, practically everything you guys talk about. Uh. <laughs> Must Little be so system freeing. of checks and balances we got over here. <laughs> Must be so freeing. Um, I don't know if you guys mess with these at all, but I this don't. Is the the next uh, third party turtle named after a season and. He's bigger. Yeah, you know, these things are really cool, but I was talking to the Migos the other day, or who was it? Uh-huh. I don't remember who I was talking to, but I said that what I don't like about this line is just that they're all so different from each other, and they almost don't go together. Not in the way yeah. that the Mezco ones are different. The Mezco ones are different sculpts, but, you know, they all look cohesive. And they look sick. And they, don't forget yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, these look sick too, but they're they're like, the scales aren't right. They keep figuring it out as they go along. And they're mm-hmm. editing scales and style of articulation, but because you're doing that, every single figure looks like it's different. Like, yeah, yeah. The, the first Leo doesn't even go with these anymore. Like, the size isn't right. You're gonna have to re-release Leo in a different. Re-release size. time, baby. 
It's just a. Uh, it's weird. It's Ooh, weird. order the combo to enjoy extra discount. Whoa! What is this McDonald's? I know. Ordering combos now. You know, I'll take my Samurai Four Summer a la carte, please. Good stuff. And then I was looking at this third party Bane earlier too. So uh, I think well, it's not even third party. I think it's just a custom. Is this gonna be for sale? Oh, I don't know. There he is. Wow. You think, I don't you know. Think the mechanics that. jacket is your ally. <laughs> Damn, that's some McFarlane level tailoring right there. See, this is what a soft goods jacket needs to look like. Come on now. Not, not ooh, the destroyer. Wow. Well, we've got shelf presence with a last minute super chat. What a Let's guy. Hear it. What a great guy. See him around all these all these amazing streams like the Migos and whatnot. What a guy. Hey. This shelf presence. Says, hey gents, happy Friday. Happy Friday to you, Shelf Presence. Hope it's going well. Uh, Thank you, sir. And, and I hope that you and everybody will go on to Ponchi's channel after this stream and watch oh. the wrestling extravaganza. Yeah. It's um fun. it's you know, I'm I'm a fan of acronyms, but you've lost me with yours. It's so good. <laughs> The Wrestling Worldwide Wrestling. Brotherhood of Figure Photographers. <laughs> Wrestling, Wrestling Federation. Federation. <laughs> Wrestling is only as good as its ridiculous acronym. Yeah. That's what we are, though, right? I mean, we're a world. I cannot feasibly chant this. We're a Worldwide Brotherhood of uh, Figure Photographers. WBFPWF. <laughs> and Microsoft FM program Fun Run Race for the Cure. For the cure. <laughs> For the cure. Um, it is truly um, one of the coolest things that you have undertook in. Oh, really? Really? Cheesy. Dang, that's it's, all it took to so get important. to get your stamp of approval. That's all it took, brother. That you've you've always had it, but this is why it counts for mm. double. Okay. The hey. W. WBF, oh, it's, it's very hard. WBF, PWF, <laughs> WBF, PWF, baby. <laughs> a lot of, lot of vowels, a lot of consonants. WBF, PWF, WBF, PWF. No vowels at all, Doesn't... actually. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> it's almost easier to just say the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, it actually is. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't go with like WWB. See, that's what I wanted to do. Wide. It just kept on getting so long that the logo would like skew. And I was like, I don't want to do that. <laughs> so for people who don't know, Poncho has recreated a lot of uh, your favorite and mine community members. Oh, wow. Um, and has put them together in a booking like an actual wrestling program. And it's going on right after this. Why don't, so we why should don't go uh, check it out. Yeah, why does why don't everybody go and watch us uh, wrestle? Yeah, wrestle. we're we're scheduled in a, uh, a Royal Rumble match against the Toy Migos, the four of us, including Boog, right? And I think it's an eight man tag match, actually. It's an eight man tag. Oh, I see, I see. Versus oh, the Toy yeah, Migos, oh, I can seven nine six and Chamba Cheney and the A four mentioned Alago. Who's can, here? He says next is the right extreme now, WBF <laughs> Wow. Uh yeah, so the first the first match is a fatal Panoy only four way featuring me, Machu, Chamba, and 796. The winner of that will go on to fight in a 1v3 versus the Retail Collective, which includes a GameStop, Target, and Toys R Us employee. And then, after that, it's a 1v2, a loss prevention officer catches between two Sentinels potentially stealing product <laughs> <laughs> and is caught between two Sentinels. And then the main title is an eight-man Raw Rumble, Ace Bay versus Toy Migos, to get wow. the WBF, PFW, PWF, Championship belt, baby. Nobody can say it. <laughs> WBFP. Uh, it's such a hard stop right there in the middle. It really is. The WBF. WBF. PWF. You got to split it into three parts. Yeah. But before before we go, I want to reply to Flamingo Sauce. He says, I would consider the three main characters to be Deku, Shoto, and Bakugo. And they're all checked out. Flamingo Sauce, 
what I'm talking about is Deku and his and his and the friends that initially he started with. Because this line did start when the first season of My Hero was airing. Um, so it's not even like Hawk. He also goes on to say that Hawks played a pretty big part in the last season. I completely agree, but that's why like Ida and Ochako should have been done by those companies a long time ago when the series first aired. They should have been done. So the doing Hawks now makes a lot of sense it's like oh man well he's so big in this season you know it, it adds up you know but it doesn't when like there's so many characters that still aren't done and if we're going popularity and like i, I don't know it's just, it's just strange i i don't like the inconsistency from anyone and it seems like that figma line is dead already so like all you get is this rebel tech line um not like otrako is a bad choice or anything it's good to see it done but it's a uh, i've not been happy with anybody's ways of releasing this i I like anybody think that the that the only person, the only company capable of of doing this shit justice is SHF, and I don't think that they will. They keep asking on polls as if they need to ask. Um, so I don't know. Um, I'm glad that people are getting more though. It's it's, it's the the point of the argument is just that more needs to come from these companies with this line. The fact that Ida and Ochako and Deku don't exist for these companies altogether is um is a travesty and it should have been done from the jump. That's true. Uh, it's, a, it's a shame. It's a shame. It's a shame. A darn shame. I would say. Wow. Lago says, wanna... damn man, I can't wait to finish my story on Ponchisi's page. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine if these toy Migos win? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. How about I if they want... win, they get to use Poncho's VC for the next week. <laughs> the stakes are too high. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I wouldn't put you out there like that. That's no, that's okay. You know what? Uh, I'll honor that. You know. <laughs> Whoa, J. Michael yeah. Johnson says, "Let's not sleep on the McFarlane, my hero." <laughs> oh my God, J. Michael, don't you dare do this to me. Yeah, How shelf dare you presence. not include that's... them in the conversation. Yeah, shelf presence. That's the thing. It's just um, it it just these releases are so sporadic from 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 both of them from from both Max Factory and from from uh from Rebel Tech. It's just, it's so strange. And Flamingo Sauce is echoing the same thing. It's just, it's a shame. Such a huge series, like, has no consistency. It's really frustrating. I, I wish that there would, that there would be more. And I, I honestly do think the only company that would be able to, to have any sort of consistency with this, with this series would be, would be Bandai. Um, but I don't, I don't know if they ever will. Who knows? Who knows? No this, villains at academia. This point, I don't I'm want saying them to. shelf presence. <laughs> Oh, you don't want why you think it would drag you in or what? It's just too late. Like, yeah, that that's the thing. That's the thing too. That's the thing. Yeah, no thanks. I already like an anime. <laughs> yeah, that's actually there's only one anime in my heart, <laughs> and it's mangaka recently passed. May he rest in peace. I mean, it's a Naruto baby. Oh, okay, well, I was wow. such a big Naruto fan. I had the Xbox 360 game. Can you imagine? Those are great games, actually. Storm Ninjas. No. Uh... Shit. I think it was the, the, Rise of the Ninja, something like that. Yeah, Rise of the Ninja, and then the other one. They're Ubisoft games, actually. Did you know that? It's yeah, crazy. they sure were. Those French guys. You'll never guess what you had to do. You never guess what the gameplay loop was like in that in those games. Fighting. It was an open world game <laughs> with activities to check off a very large. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You're right. doing, you're running in Konoha Village or what? Yeah, bro. We're all over the Hidden Leaf Village. You can like get on rooftops. Flamingo yeah. Sauce says, I just feel like Banda has his hand in too many cookie jars. No, it's a continuous joke, but it's upsetting. JJK has fallen behind. You know what? Flamingo is, I, we've been wondering, because I, I talk to the Migos like as much as I possibly can at night on their Discord. Join the Toy Migos Discord. It's a fantastic place. Um, it's, it's as if everyone was told by whoever, I, I don't fucking know if it's Kadokawa or if it's Shonen Jump, whoever the fuck licensed out that license to them to stop because figma and and uh bandai they both are not making figures they don't have anything planned um there's no gray grayscale mock-up or model of anything for either of them so it's almost as if they were directed not to make it i don't know if there's any truth to that but it's just it's strange that that it's not just bandai it's also max factory it doesn't have anything coming um, there's no, there's no grayscale that we're waiting for to be put up on pre-order. There's no, there's no nothing from both of them. So it's almost as if it was a directive from who they licensed it from. I don't, I don't know off the top of my head what company that could be, 
Um, but um, I, I wonder if that's the case because it just doesn't add up that one of the biggest animes right now has no figures about to enter into a pre-order phase. It's odd. It's, it's really weird. But they do have their, their hands in, in a bit too many cookie jars. I, I, I don't need them to make the MHA line, but just um, if anybody was going to do it and be consistent, I would think it would be them. Yeah, it's a it's a, stra a, stra a strange strange time strange time right now. Let's see if it's going straight to the dark tournament with you. It's crazy. Yeah, that's what we were saying earlier. Can't believe that they did that. They didn't just do his regular green uh, jumpsuit look. That was a that was a surprise. It's nice. It's mm -hmm. a nice surprise. Wow. Well, not as strange as this wrestling pay per view that Poncho is putting on is about to be. Wow, on his page, what's his what's his what's his channel's name? Well, luckily, if you just stay right on this stream, it's going to take you right there, right, P? That's true. That organic. <clears throat> um, look at that. Bringing it up oh, without even being prompted. Wow. Very good. What a professional program. That's anyway, amazing. let's um, get up out of here, huh? Yeah. Should we do plugs? Absolutely. Maybe um, do plugs. Yeah. Plugs. Hey, it's me, Rick Dom. Hey, hey Rick. Podcast. Hey, um, I'm here every Friday. Um, and I'm on Instagram, rickdom2345, and you could also catch me on many a Discord, in the ACBA Discord, in the Toy Migos Discord. You, uh, catch me everywhere. Anywhere and everywhere. How about everywhere? Like here, every Friday. Heck yeah. Who wants to go next? Hey, what's up? I'm Fabio. My friends call me Fobster. Instagram, Fobster360. Here on YouTube, youtube.com slash Fobster360. Uh, I will be a guest on an upcoming episode of uh, The Collection Nexus. With, speaking of Toy Migos, formerly of uh, Toy Migos fame, Jurassic Jesse, Let's as go. well as Berserk, Mr. Ronald himself. I'll be a guest uh, with them on the 15th, which is this coming Monday night. So um, come through, go subscribe to their channel, The Collection Nexus, and uh, I'll see you there on Monday. I'll be guesting with them. They have a very very interesting little little questionnaire that they sent me, so I'm actually really? excited to to be on their show and Dang. get through this uh, this itinerary that they've sent. It's really cool, very very fun little format that they've cooked together over there. Them boys cooked. Someone and cooked we, here. We're sitting at ninety nine point one percent purity, brother. Wow. Yeah. Hey, uh, Poncho, who are you? I'm Ponchezy. Uh, nice. Just. Uh, when this stream ends, don't go anywhere. If you like wrestling, if you don't, go somewhere. That's it. <laughs> if you if you were still desperate chasing the high that was this WrestleMania, well, we got news for you. <laughs> this, is get you this is gonna get you close. Wow. That's Thank true. you, Born Tatum, by the way. Yeah. Thank you, Born you Tatum. It. Thanks everybody uh, in the chat hanging out this yeah. evening. It's been a fun one. It's been a heck of a ride, you know. Mm. Um, so thanks everybody who uh, contributed with some super chats, contributed into the conversation. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell down there. <laughs> and until next time, peace. Goodbye. <laughs> and stay safe out there, toy soldiers. It's always, it's always with the toy soldiers. <laughs> I I want to feel. I want everybody in the audience. If you remember the three cardinal rules the four, the four, the I just kind of ran out of casual guy things to say. So I <laughs> What's what's the what do we do on the other side? Guy who's waiting.